everyone welcome back to my channel i'm tracy so we're working with lace today and i actually specialized in intimate apparel at fit so i am very well rounded in the world of lace i'm going to be showing you guys how to work with stretch lace and rigid so i'm just going to be taking some plain camis that i already own just because they're kind of boring and i'm just gonna show you how you can spice up something and they're gonna come out so adorable. I can't wait to show you guys how to place lace and sew it down. I hope you guys enjoy this upcycle tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. I start by taking my top and putting it on the dress form and I pin down the center front as low as I want my lace to plunge. And then I'm just pinning that excess fabric up and I'm just trying to make sure the neckline is as fitted as possible. Take your tape measure and measure out your strap point. So I went down about 5 inches from my shoulder, that was where I desired my strap to start. And I'm taking my lace and making sure I leave some extra fabric so it wraps around to the side. And I start at the strap point and place a pin and give it a slight stretch down towards the center front pin. Take the excess fabric on the side and just like pin it up and start molding it to that armhole. So just smoothing it out and then I find the apex and I'm just going to make a dart. So just start by marking the highest point of the bust and then just take your lace and Fold it, fold all that extra fabric at the bottom, and then just you kind of make like this little triangle if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining how to do a dart, but um, you can see how I do it. I think it's not too complicated. Pin and stretch at the under bust just to get rid of that little bit of ease and push it towards the side seam. Now I'm just pinning the side seam down and just stretching it out a bit. I take my style tape and just pin it slightly over the center front because I want my two lace cups to eventually overlap each other. And then I curve it under the bust and straighten it out at the side seam. I take my water soluble ink pen and then just mark the apex. I just mark on the fold and where the dart starts and ends. I start to mark the under bust. Make sure you mark the lace and your tank top underneath so you get all the layers and you can see where your sewing line's gonna be. And then I'm just following the armhole right under the bias tape finish and I mark the side seam as well so just make sure you mark everything and all the layers and don't forget to mark your center front so I'm just kind of dotting it and just marking where the lace begins and just marking the center front on the lace and it's like a quarter inch in because it's gonna overlap the other cup if that makes sense now you can remove your piece and just make sure you're pinning your dart in place and just don't pin it to the cami underneath, just pin it to the lace itself and I'm just removing everything here. Now I'm just adding seam allowance. I add a quarter inch to the armhole and the side seam. And I'm just using my rotary cutter here to just cut this lace out. And I just repeat this to the under bust. I add a quarter inch and trim away. Make sure you're cutting when your dart is pinned and closed. Yay, now you have a lace cup. So I'm just remarking this dart to make sure I get the fold and where it starts and ends. Open up your dart and then just start connecting your fold to your apex and then connect where it ends so it's like a big triangle. Now 
After you marked that, you want to just take the rest of your lace and just mirror image that piece. So just place it on top of your other lace, right sides together, and make sure the flowers match or whatever your design is and just pin it down. And I take my rotary cutter and just cut around that piece. Normally you would just make a pattern, but um, I'm kind of lazy, so um, this just works well. <laughs> Now that you have two cups cut out, you want to mark the dart on the other piece. So I just take some pins and just put a pin at the apex and then just mark the rest of the triangle. Now it's time to sew that dart on these cups. So you want to fold the right sides together and just pin that triangle down and repeat to the other cup. And you're just gonna sew on that line. Take it to your sewing machine and make sure you're on a smaller stitch size. I was about a 2.2 and back tack at the bottom and just be careful because the lace is kind of delicate and once you get to the apex don't back tack. You want to just leave a little bit of a thread and just hand tie it yourself, so I do like about three knots. I take my cami and fold it in half and slash where the strap point would start, and I had to redo it at this angle because I couldn't cut that way. Once I cut out the new strap point, I just start by seam ripping all of that bias tape. I seam rip until I reach the side seam, and I seam rip a half inch more just so I have access to the side seam. And I seam rip the side seam until I reach to the end of the lace cup. And I also seam rip the rest of that tape at the armhole so I can use it as my strap. And I know it's a cut up mess, but I hope you understand. And I repeat it to the other side and then I fold the cami in half. So I match up the side seam and that top neck so I can get an accurate cut. I add a quarter inch seam allowance to the under bust line trim away and now you have an underbust seam at the front of the top. Now it's time to pin your cups down, so I'm just taking my cup and pinning it to the side seam and the center front, so I'm just matching everything up and just stretch everything to fit and when you overlap something it's always where is right side over left. Take this to your sewing machine and just do a quarter inch. I use my overlock machine because it's easier, but you can use your regular sewing machine and use this exact stitch to finish the edge. After sewing the cups in, just turn it inside out and match up your side seams and just sew a quarter inch. I start right below where I unstitch the side seam and then just sew all the way back up. After sewing that side seam back up, take that bias and just pin it back to that new armhole. And I pin at the side seam and then stretch it all the way to the top of the strap point and then I just pin that bias as best as possible and just stretch and pin and I just repeat this to the other armhole and I take it to my sewing machine and I'm using my double needle just so I can mimic the same stitch as it 
previously had. And don't forget to back tack where the old stitching and the new stitching meet. We're almost done, so I'm just taking my strap and it's kind of opened because we had a seam rip, but you're just gonna wanna pin it down to the strap point and then we're just gonna stitch it back up closed and then stitch it at the strap point, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'm just using the same double needle and mimicking the stitch way back up until you reach the old stitching and back tack. Take my lace and cut out like these little flowers out of it. I cut out two just so I can cover up like the crusty looking strap point because that looks gross. So um, yeah, look how cute it looks if I add that little flower. The strap point looks so much better and I just found this little bow I already had with all of my other extra stuff and just hand sewed it. Okay, finally for the second top. So this one's a lot faster to do. So I'm just taking my trim and placing it at the strap and kind of curving it towards my center front and taking that measurement. Mine measured seven inches and then I added three inches for like extra in case. And then I just doubled that measurement and folded it in half. And we're just gonna do a mitered edge. So you get like this V shape. So you just wanna do a diagonal line on your fold and then just stitch that down. Now you have a perfect mitered edge, and I trimmed the seam allowance so it wasn't bulky at the center front. I straighten out the straps with a neckline, and then I just cut them. Take my trim and mark 7 inches from the center, and I just mark that, and then I mark it on the other side as well. I take the cami and I fold it in half. I match up the side seams and the neck. Drop down two and three quarters and mark at the center front neck. From the center front neck point to the strap point, I add a half inch seam allowance and mark. Oh wait, I messed that one up and then I had to remark it. Then I trim away and I just start by placing my trim at the center front and a half inch below the cut line and I match up that 7 inch mark to my strap and then I just stretch the fabric to the trim and pin everything down. After I pin down the trim, I just like to baste it down because it's easier when I do a zigzag stitch on my machine to just not have the pins in the way. I take it to my machine and I'm using a really small zigzag stitch and just following like the curved shape of the trim. So I want to kind of gather the front, but I'm just going to do a box pleat instead. So I'm marking the center front line a little bit longer. I'm taking a little bit of fabric and folding it underneath the trim and then taking the bottom part of the fabric and folding it up, if that makes sense. That's how you do like a small box pleat and just leading them together. I place a pin and just stitch that down, just back tack a lot. At the neckline, just trim your seam allowance to an eighth of an inch so it's not visible to the outside. Already on strap, so much faster. So um, take your strap and just kind of pleat it so you make it a little bit smaller. I just kind of wanted to continue this like pleating effect. And then you want to just pin it right below your trim so you can catch the strap as you sew and just pin it down. After stitching the strap down, you want to just fold the rest of the trim to the back of the strap and just pin it down. Turn it over and trim, leaving like a quarter inch to the back 
and then just stitch your whole strap down and just repeat to your other strap point. I'm so obsessed with these tops, they came out so good and I really hope you guys can recreate them. Thank you so much for watching.